story. Uh, it's good. We good. All this stuff, and he's like, guys, I don't know what. I looked at the red lights. I saw the red lights, and I'm blanked. <laughs> Oh, what's up you wonderful people? Today's actually quite a special day. First of all, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't seen me before, my name is Jared Cole Edwards. I am posting a video once a week and today we're gonna start filming really, right? This week's video actually, oh, how's that echo? I do apologize for the echo. I'm trying to sort everything out, but if you can hear me okay, I'm sure it's fine. And what we're actually gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be talking about my minimalist interview kit, really, right? So I got a little opportunity that um, got handed to me a couple weeks ago. I get to film an interview for a sports brand. Subsequently, it's a sports brand that I work for. We're gonna be interviewing Gareth Haynes, who you've seen on this channel before. Yeah, I'm gonna be talking about the gear, what gear we're actually using, what gear I'm filming on. Yeah, let's go, peace. Okay, what's up? So we just got back to Sansom Garrett's here. We've got a bit of lunch happening. This guy, you've seen him before on the channel. Uh, if not, we'll link the card in the description above. Of when was we on the channel? Cape Town. It was like 2018, I think. We were MP. We had like <laughs> quite an awkward moment with the camera. But with that being said, we'll check it out. But first, we're going to try some things. Uh, we're also going to make a little shot list over here with regards to what we need to capture when we're doing these little interview sessions this afternoon. Okay, so we've just finished up here. We've just done a little precursor, what's the word? Like a plan of action and a shot list for what we need to do. Coffee, donuts for the road, and we're off to the store. We're actually here in Santon. Uh, we're gonna talk to our, one of our brand houses and Gary's gonna be taking us through. What I'll do from that side is I'll overlay what we actually shot, and then maybe he can do a solid mate a favor and get some behind the scenes of what I'm actually doing. Just so, <laughs> there we go, there we go. Okay, cool, we'll see you at the store. Okay, what's up guys? We're just sitting here, we're at the store, we're having some talent problems. This guy, not happy with my contract. <laughs> he's actually using his cue cards, you know? But anyways, the interview is going down pretty well. Um, yeah, we'll just wait for our boy here to finish with his little stage fright problems. And <laughs> <laughs> we'll continue <laughs> with what's happening. Okay, what's up guys? Just a quick little interlude now. We are done shooting all the talking head that she's basically been going through. I'm gonna set up the Ronin, which is back in the corner here quickly. A little bit of time left coming up. And we're gonna get those juicy B-roll decadent shots to obviously overlay all the footage that we're talking about. Peace, see you later. So he goes and he like starts mumbling, bro. Full on mumbling. They say, how's the half going? How do you guys are doing? And he's like, I'm sorry, uh, it's good. We good. All the stuff and he's like, guys, I don't know what I looked at the red lights. I saw the red lights and I'm blanked. <laughs> <laughs> Just got back to the office. The office is not a studio. It just sounds that Studio just sounds too long, too long. But we're going to the, going back to the office. We're going back to the office. The office, office, office. Going back to the studio. Ah, no, I think I'm gonna stick with office because she's like, those sounds 
you know, if you end up watching this man and then you see and you can hear, you can hear what's happening. I know we've spoken about it before, buddy, but man, it's time, it's time. Just, let's just be honest. It's time for some sound paneling. Yes, please. Okay, so we just got back to the office. Just sounds so much better, doesn't it? The office, the office. Man, <laughs> super keen. Okay, so today was a successful day. We're back in the office, this creative space that we are trying to create to inspire. I mean, those of you that don't know me too well, uh, I actually work from home. So to try and develop a space that I'm continuously in to try and be creative when you're in one space, is kind of a bit of a challenge sometimes. So that's what I'm trying to develop here. Another little pickup, check out this thing. Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, can't go too wrong. Part of my everyday carry. Cool, you're definitely getting to seeing a video with that coming soon. So today was a super successful day. Um, Gareth did extremely well with the interviews that we actually did. Although I've been saying interviews for the last like maybe 10 minutes on this video, it wasn't an interview. It was more of a presentation. Basically what he's been challenged to, do, to create content of a certain articles that we actually develop as a brand, pop train staff that are in the stores. So they simply can just push play, that's the video, and it's him talking about the apparel, the footwear, the garment, the technology that actually goes in to the production of that piece. So the gear actually uses a super simple setup, and I know that's the reason why you actually tuned in to this video is to find out what gear I was using to film this series. So my camera, although you can't see it right now, nor, <laughs> nor the lens, Hold on. I don't think the missus is going to be too happy with what I've just done, but I've just pulled this off the wall. But to give you an idea, that is my view right there. Okay, so that is a 77D, a Canon 77D with the battery grip. And the lens I'm busy using at the moment is the Sigma 18 to 35 1.8. That is a beast, a beast of a lens. 90% of the footage that you see on this channel is shot with that setup. Rode VideoMark Pro Plus with the dead cat and it's the proper dead cat. It's not the one that goes over that little foam thing. This is the one that comes with the foam built in as well. I mean, a couple of you are commenting about my previous videos last year and you're like, it sounds like you're talking of this. Because it was everything, everything was just muffled and it destroyed my audio for like two weeks. This whole setup here is basically what I have to create my content. Let's put this mirror back, shall we? All the B-roll that was shot with a Ronin S, that is my go-to gimbal, that is my, that is literally my favorite piece of gear at this moment is my gimbal. I don't use it a lot, but I've been starting to use it a little bit more frequently, especially with the short films I've been doing behind the scenes, just any additional features. I mean, definitely just want that stabilization. Do like to rock the battery grip. It's just a little bit more comfortable for me. And I can shoot that vertical video as well as snap those vertical portrait shots we know are also good for Instagram. You know, getting that real estate. So again, with that being said, my little setup is too big for the Ronin SC. So naturally I revert back to the Ronin S hands down time and time again. And I've actually just ordered one of those dual grips from DJR. So there you're definitely gonna be seeing probably a little review coming up in the future with that. The reason why you actually tuned into this video is to know about a minimalist setup for interview purposes. And you know what, at the end of the day, you don't need a lot of gear to actually shoot what you want. Sometimes the best camera you have, actually on 90% of the time, the best camera you have is the one that's in your hand currently. Whether it be an entry level DSLR, the top of the range mirrorless, GoPros or your phone, whatever it is that you can do to get the job done, that's what you use. Peace, um, that's it from me. I've got definitely got, I've got a timeline to actually get this content out for Gareth, so, that's it for the video, folks. Um, if you actually liked what you see, subscribe below. Hit me below in the comments if you would like any more videos like this, a little bit more of a behind the scenes. I'd love to know what you guys actually think about this. If not, hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace. See you next week. Check, check out. Unique New York. <laughs> sure, oh, I can't do this now. Look who's all. <laughs>
war Möss. Dude. Ach, oh, dude, it's not making any sense. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like I've been, tastes like I've been, just feels like I've been chewing mothballs for like, like all day.